Hi everybody! Everybody's been asking me to do a curling iron tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do today, show you how I curl my hair. Now it's been a couple days since I've actually curled my hair and I wanted to show you guys this because it's actually better if you do it on hair that's not freshly blown out, not freshly dried because you want to brush it first. And if it's a couple of days dirty, it's actually a lot better. It holds the curl better. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ear to ear. Take loose sections. You don't have to be perfect. I'm going to clip it up one of these little clips. And then what's really important is you split these down the middle in the back of your head. I am using a one inch Paul Mitchell curling iron. It's my favorite. Um, it has adjustable heat on it. I would use anywhere between a one and a one and a quarter inch curling iron. A one and a half is too big. A lot of people buy one and a half because it looks like the right size. It's too big. So the biggest, biggest things about curling your hair is one, this clip needs to be facing you in the mirror, meaning it can't be back here. It's gotta be facing you in the mirror. That's how you know you're doing it right. And then you're always gonna curl away from your face. You're not gonna grab it. If you turn it in, you get a big crease right there. So you have to turn it this way. You have to excuse my hand. I did some fun red hair color today <laughs> and it's not off yet. So I'll tell you what I was doing there. I'm basically splitting this into two sections. If you really wanna know, it's probably about an inch, an inch and a half thick of a section. Um, I am going close to the root only because it acts as a flat iron and it will smooth out your hair. I'm only curling the middle of my hair. So these last couple inches and these first couple inches are not curled. So that's a big, big problem that most people do is they're over curling their hair, especially for the look that we're going for right now. So watch me. My hair's long, so I twirl it about twice. Now see, there's about a good two inches and a good two inches. Then I'm gonna unloop this and I'm gonna go straight down because that's gonna smooth out the bottom while still keeping it straight. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna go to the root and smooth it. I'm gonna wrap it twice. If your hair's shorter, it's probably only gonna wrap once. I'm gonna take this curling iron and untuck it and then just pull it and drag it straight down. Now, here's another big thing. Don't look at this hair and think, oh my God, it's too curly. I have to pull it out and start yanking at it. Just leave it. Anytime you're, you heat up your hair and then you let it cool down in that shape, it's gonna set it. So it's gonna set the curl so that it can last for a couple of days, hopefully. If you start taking a brush or your fingers to it immediately, it's gonna fall right out and it's never gonna hold. So I'm taking these in like two, two pieces. Now, when you take those, the bigger section you take of hair, the looser the curl will be. So sometimes people are taking too tiny of sections and they're getting tiny curls or you're using too small of a curling iron. Also, you're trying to curl the entire hair. Remember, you wanna leave the roots out and you wanna leave the ends out. So you can see the ends right here and you can see the roots right here. It's a good two, maybe even three inches. If you want more of a loose bend, like a beach wave, leave more hair out and just do one curl. So, my hair's naturally curly, so I what I do is I like to shampoo it and air dry it at night so I don't have to blow dry it. This also helps maintain some of the curl. In the morning, when all of this is curly, I use this curling iron, almost like a flat iron, and I go right up to the root to help smooth it out a little bit. It's also easy so I don't have to wash and blow dry my hair in the morning before I do this. It saves me some time. So I'll go like this 
I'm smoothing that curl out. No, I've already smoothed the curl out because I curled it a couple days ago. So you can see those couple inches and these couple of inches. Then watch, I'm gonna uncurl it and just drag it down. I have a lot of hair, my hair is pretty thick, but I say I do my entire head in about four sections, meaning one, two, three, four. And my hair is pretty thick. So if you have finer hair, honestly, you probably do it in two or three. A lot of people right now are over curling their hair. They're doing too many sections, too tiny, too curly. Really the biggest, biggest way to get the look that you're seeing everywhere on Pinterest, on Instagram, on celebrities, the biggest thing is leaving this part out and this part out. Now undo it and then drag it. Just leave it, don't even look at it. Just leave it, keep moving on. Now if you're practicing for the first time, I always tell my clients, either use a completely cold iron that has not been plugged in, or try this on, you know, Wednesday night when you're getting ready to hop in the shower and wash your hair. Don't do it Saturday night at six o'clock before you go out because you're gonna get nervous, you're gonna do something wrong, and then you're gonna wanna rewash your hair and it's gonna be awful. So don't try it right before you go to work or right before you go out. Try it right before you're about to wash your hair so you can practice. See, ends out, roots out, and then you'll see if you get close. I'm always splitting this right down the middle so that you pull all of this hair out to this side, all of this hair out to this side, all of this goes back, all of this goes back. It's just an easy way to separate your hair. I don't even have to look at the back. I can just feel it. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, perfect sections. There's no point in doing that. It's just kind of a waste of time. If you want it to be even bigger, just a really big bend, you could use a one and a quarter size curling iron and you could also take even bigger chunks of hair than this and you'll get even bigger bend. And I'll show you two ways to style it actually when I'm done. One way is just to shake it out and use a texture spray. I love the um, Bumble and Bumble um, dry spun finish is my favorite, that's what I'm gonna use. You just spray it all over and break it up with your hands. Another way is to use a brush or a large tooth comb. Um, it just separates a little more. I don't usually do that because I like to wear it for a couple of days and let it fall naturally. But if you're going for a super, super loose look, you can just go ahead and run a brush through it and I'll show you both. I don't like to perfectly part my hair. I just kind of do it with my hands so it's not too precise. The only other thing you need besides texture spray is hairspray to hold it. Sometimes a little dry shampoo, depending on if you need it. So again, these are about one and a half inch sections. You wanna undo that first part of the curling iron and then just drag it down. I have some long bangs. I'm just gonna keep those out till the end. Probably separate this into two pieces for a long bang. I still do the same thing though. I just don't curl it as many times. Just curl it about once. Again, I'm starting at the root to kind of smooth that out. Depending on the texture of your hair, that really helps eliminate the need for a really perfect blow dry that takes a long time. That's hard for you guys doing on yourself. The heat of this curling iron will smooth out your hair for you. Now, if you have super, super, super tight curls, maybe not, but my curl's pretty tight. It can be pretty tight and this will curl, it, will smooth it out. But even if you have frizzy hair or hair that's just kind of wavy, so it's not quite straight, not quite curly, I'm telling you this will 
smooth it out for you. There's no need to do some big fancy blow dry and then try to curl your hair. I actually think when you blow dry your hair straight and then curl it, it's actually, it doesn't stay as well. I'm gonna separate this last guy into two. Then I'm going to, well, I'll do one. And then I'm going to spray it with texture spray. You can see what texture spray does better than I can explain it. It just kind of perfectly breaks up your curl. So this is the Bumble Bumble. It's called Thickening Dry Spun Finish. It's basically, you have to shake it up. It's an aerosol. I kind of just lift up my hair. You see, I'm kind of picking my nails through it. I'm not raking and combing my fingers through it. That's almost breaking it up too much. You really can't use too much of the spray. It's amazing. So look at a side by side right there already of what that does. Makes it fuller, it makes it look undone, but it, it makes it look nice and perfectly messy. I'll do the other side. Now I'm gonna actually show you the other side if you were to brush it. It's just this a big paddle brush. You could also use a big um, wide tooth comb. And I'm literally just brushing it straight through. And I'll actually use the texture spray on that side too, so you can see it. See how that gives you more of a bend? This is definitely more of a curl. They're just a little different. Brush this so it matches. It's really just what look you're going for. But either way, you curl it the same. And it's just whether you want to brush it. If you have hair that doesn't hold well, I wouldn't recommend brushing it because it'll fall out. You really can't use too much of this. It's pretty awesome. So there it is, guys. There's my curling iron tutorial. How to get the beach waves everyone is doing right now. This is my hair. I hope you guys like it. Let us know if you have any questions. And go practice.